so, uh, uh. What's up guys, welcome back to NorCal Cycling 2 and welcome back to the Couch to Crit vlogs. If you're new here, these are weekly vlogs that we post every single Wednesday on this channel to document my journey from this guy to hopefully winning a crit this summer. Today, we are in San Francisco, my fiance and I, Alyssa who's behind the camera, we're in San Francisco. But today is our last day here, so we are actually heading back home north. So I'm gonna ride from where we're at in the city back home. Just a nice chill zone two ride today. Alyssa and I are gonna stop in the Marin Headlands and take some photos. But yeah, it's gonna be an awesome vlog. Welcome, let's get into it. Yeah, taking the photos. Oh my goodness, it is gorgeous. Woo! Woo, okay, a little over halfway done for this ride today. But I have a little bike update for you guys. Got some new wheels. Ew. Yeah, some reserve 50s, which I'm absolutely loving. Unfortunately, my old wheels did in fact crack and delaminate, but Jackson and Team Mike's Bikes hooked it up with these reserve 50s, so shout out to them. I'm so lucky. I'm literally so freaking spoiled. Like, I just get hookups and I have you guys, and yeah, just very thankful and really enjoying today. Okay, just had an amazing lunch and just like that, we're back on the road. Wow, it seriously is such a nice day outside. But I do want to talk about something real quick and that's the title of this video. My goal to double my FTP in one year. Now most of you probably know that if you're following on, if you're following along with the Couch to Crit series on the main channel, that when I started riding back in August, my FTP was 192. With that being said, I want to try to double it by August of next year. Like, I know that's a pretty unrealistic goal and probably not achievable to get to, what would that be, 384? Like, <laughs> that'd be really freaking hard, but, and you know, a lot of that has to do with genetics as well. But, I don't know, I thought it'd be kind of a fun challenge and just to see where I get. Now, in order to even attempt doing that obviously we gotta follow the structure that is written out for me pretty much to a t as some of you know i am following the couch to crit master class plan which is why i'm doing just a big zone two ride today if you guys want to check out the plan it is linked on the top of the description down below i know it might seem pretty pricey to buy that master class but we worked really really hard on it so i think it's worth it and it's a great way to support this channel and the main channel. Now, if price is too much of an issue, I totally, totally understand. <clears throat> so that's why we also have a scholarship and I'll do my best to let some of you in. If you apply for that scholarship, it'll be the second link in the description as well. But if you have the funds and you want an awesome course that is, you know, directed by the one and only Jeff Linder, I urge you guys to check it out. And that's the training plans that I'm following right now. Now, the only difference between what I'm doing and what's written in there, and Jeff talks about this in the course is that I'm adding some more zone two to my training plan. And the only reason I'm doing that has nothing to really do with performance that won't help my performance that much. It's more to do with a fitness standpoint. And as most of you know, you know, I am pretty fresh off a weight loss journey. So my metabolism hasn't quite adjusted to being the weight that I'm at yet. So I can still eat like crazy and very easily put that weight back on, which is why I'm adding zone two to kind of help counterbalance that. Helps me burn some extra calories for the day, kind of helps my metabolism level out, which should take hopefully about a year or so. But yeah, that is the goal, is to do our best to get to 384 and, and you know, just see what we can do. I, again, I have don't really know if that's achievable or not. I'm sure many of you in the comments will let me know if that is just absolutely crazy of an idea, but just a, just a thought. I will do my best to update you guys with power numbers and FTP and all of that throughout this journey. I do an FTP test every five weeks. And yeah, thank you again for being here for this journey. The support on these vlogs has been uh, 
absolutely crazy. I don't know why you guys really like sitting here watching me ride my bike. I don't really feel like I'm anything special, but seriously, this report is amazing. Thank you guys. Be sure to like and subscribe. It really goes a long way. And yeah, let's finish out the zone two ride. Okay, y'all, happy Friday. Today is an off day for me, and I pretty much have to catch up on work all day today. So here is a quick little 10 second time lapse of what my work day looks like, but instead of 10 seconds, I'm doing this for about 12 hours today. So yeah. Woo! I don't know if you guys can see me very well, but good morning. Happy Saturday, y'all. Got a really fun day planned today. It's currently about 6 a.m. and I'm headed down south to do my first ever group ride with Jeff. I'm so excited. Really looking forward to it. Honestly, also kind of nervous. There's something about riding in a pack that still it's not quite used to. So like it'll be well, the biggest pack I've ever ridden is four people. This is gonna be like 30, so I'm assuming I'm assuming it's gonna be you know, whole different animal. But even riding with four people, like holding wheels and riding close to people and stuff just still feels weird to me. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know, I'm, I'm excited, but also nervous to ride in a big pack. But yeah, I think we're gonna do a separate video on this channel for uh, the kind of the whole day today. Hopefully, maybe it's posted by the time it's up. I don't know, if not, then you have something to look forward to. Kind of some tips and breakdowns from Jeff for your first group ride in that video. But today I'll just be shooting the behind the scenes and some of that stuff and yeah, let's get into it. Look who it is. Good morning. My name is Jeff. Wow. <laughs> Happy Sunday. Man, what a freaking fun day yesterday. First group ride went really, really well. It was an absolute blast. Man, I just I just love riding bikes, seriously. That was so much fun. Like, yeah, I can't describe it, but I'm over the moon. Yeah. Today, I'm gonna go ride with a friend of me, Brian. He actually lives up in my neck of the woods, so gonna go meet up with him and do a nice chill zone two day today. Looking forward to it. Yeah, wow. What a what a good weekend. It's windy. What an amazing ride though. Oh my gosh, almost getting blown over. The wind is howling right now. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but seriously, what an amazing ride. About to finish up, go to barbecue, eat some ribs, and enjoy my Sunday. Great zone two ride, met some new friends. Thank you, Brian and friends. That was, uh, oh my God. Wow. It's just gusting out here. Okay, I cannot wait to be done to be honest, but wrapped up another great great week of training. Feeling really, really good on the bike. I felt strong yesterday. I'm curious to see what my FTP is. Yeah. You. Okay, happy Monday, y'all. Um, today on the training plan, I'm supposed to do six by six interval workout. It'll be a game time decision. I'm honestly pretty tired it was a big week last week for me so yeah we'll see i'm gonna go out there and spin and just kind of feel it out and if we're feeling good by the time we get to our interval hill that we like to do our intervals on then you know maybe we'll bust it out but 
If not, then we'll probably just do zone two today. And I'll see you guys on the upgrade. I'll see you guys on the GoPro. Keep you updated. Okay, we've made it over to our famous training road off of Roberts Road here in Santa Rosa. It was a headwind all the way over here, so I was just, just like this. Just tucked in, just choo-chooing my way over here. You know, I said just a second ago, I don't know if I'm gonna do these intervals. You know what? We already worked this hard to get over here. Might as well get the intervals done. So, plan to do them. I said six by six, but I gotta double check. I don't know why I had that in my head. I don't actually know what I'm doing today. So, I gotta double check the training plan. Then I'll get back to you and let you guys know. And then we'll get it done. Feeling actually surprisingly good today also, I forgot to say that. So, you know, it's not like I'm overworking myself. Like, I'm out of breath and panic because we're going up a hill. Okay, don't. Don't come at me, but feeling better than I thought, so I think we can get this done. Okay, we made it to the bottom of our uh, favorite little training hill out here in Northern California. I mean, it feels like Mount Everest today, but it really is like not that bad. <laughs> it's a sick hill to train on, super nice out today. I'm just being negative, but Okay, let's see what we actually have on tap for today. Is this six by six? Oh, sheesh. Ooh, okay. Um, we got over unders today. <sighs> That's gonna suck. But you know what? Let's get it done. One eternity later. Ow. That was hard. But right, first one is done. I probably won't be filming. B-roll of me actually doing the climb, so just imagine me going like, uh, 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 dying up a hill for 12 minutes. Because last week you guys uh, gave me crap. Oh jeez, that one just fell. You guys gave me crap for filming during my intervals, even though actually what I did was after my last, jeez, uh, <coughs> almost choked on my spit. But after my last interval last week, I noodled up and got B-roll. So like this seventh interval, but like at like 55%, so like zone two. And got some B-roll from you guys and just did one take and then sprinkled it out throughout the whole video of me doing intervals. So it looked like you guys were along the ride for intervals. But listen, love you guys, but I'm too tired to uh, to do that today. So well, look how pretty it is up here. <laughs> Trying to be positive, but man, I'm tired today. Hi, right, next one. One eternity later. Ugh, all right, number two is done. Surprisingly two is easier than one. Don't really know why or how, and we did more power for two on accident, but not complaining. I'm gonna keep that good energy going into number two race. And yeah, again, you know, I know somebody comment about, wow, I wish I had this nicer weather. Screw you, California's nice weather. Well, there's nothing I can do about it. It's just nice. It's supposed to rain at the end of the week, but God, it's pretty out here right now. I'm so, you know what? For you guys that don't have good weather right now, I'm sending you good vibes and good weather. And also, I just want to say thanks again to get deep for a moment before I do this third one. It'll motivate me. But everyone that supports this, like channel and kind of what we're doing here at NorCal Cycling, NorCal Cycling 2 and Couch to Crit. From the bottom of my heart, seriously, thank you guys. And all these messages that I get all the time saying that, what the hell? The telephone pole behind me is making weird sounds, sorry. But all these messages that I get saying that this channel got you into cycling or that you're starting your weight loss journey because of this channel, like, oh, that's freaking awesome. So again, thank you to all you guys. Shout out to all of you guys. I'm gonna get this third one down for you. One eternity later. Well, guess what, gang? We did it. <laughs> We're done. I'll pop the ride up on the screen right here. Time to go home and take a nap. Happy Tuesday, y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in this week. I have a rest day today, so that means I'm gonna end this vlog here. Just go ahead and edit the footage for you guys and make sure that it's out tomorrow, bright and early, Wednesday morning. But yeah, with that being said, guys, thank you so much again for tuning in. All the support on this channel has been amazing. I will see you guys soon. Peace.